Designing for mobile devices can be intimidating. With multiple device sizes, varying navigation patterns between Android and iOS, and ensuring everything is the right size for a touch device. Adobe XD makes it easy to get started on your first mobile design project and helps you expedite your process once you get going. To get started, Adobe XD provides project presets for common mobile devices and tablet sizes. Selecting one of these options will open a new file with a blank artboard set to the proper dimensions. In this case, an iPhone X. UI kits are a great way to start populating this blank canvas with pre-built elements or components. And platform kits allow you to bring in iOS and material design elements right to your design. You can find these kits by navigating to the File menu, Get UI Kits, and selecting the platform you wish to use. In this case, I'll download Apple iOS as this project is focused on the iPhone. With the UI kit downloaded, I can now copy and paste key iOS elements into my design file so I don't need to reproduce them. Depending on the layout, I may desire copying in other standard iOS elements like navigation and tabs, but for now, I'll stick with these elements for the iPhone X. I can begin adding elements to my design to create my first layout, the home screen. To ensure that my elements are aligned properly within my design, I'll enable the square grid on this artboard. As I move elements around, they'll snap to the grid, ensuring that everything is precisely aligned. Using repeat grid, cards can be quickly duplicated, saving time. Since all cards are synced together, I can design in the first card, and changes appear on the repeated cards as well. I'll keep this layout simple and include an image and a title. Dragging in images from my computer, the cards can be populated quickly and easily. With the design built out a little more, I can begin adding interactions to this design. With the built-in prototyping mode in Adobe XD, rich interactions can be added for adding realism when conducting user testing or presenting designs to my team. In this case, I'm using a slide left transition to create the effect of a detail page sliding in from the right over top of the existing page, like a typical iOS transition. Several triggers are available for prototyping in Adobe XD. These triggers can be used to create various interaction types on your mobile device, like built-in voice assistants or draggable sliders. In this recommended section at the bottom of the detail view, I can use a drag trigger to auto-animate the content from one position to the next. Previewing this design, the prototype can be dragged with the mouse to simulate a finger drag. And voila, the carousel slides over as we drag across the screen. To get a true feel for this interaction, a physical device can be connected to Adobe XD using the Adobe XD app for iOS or Android. The preview will now appear live on the iPhone. Dragging across the carousel will once again complete the transition. As changes to the design or prototype are made in XD, the changes appear in real time on my device. Navigation is an important element of any mobile design. Overlays in XD allow me to create one menu artboard and reuse it across multiple screens. Once again, in prototype mode, I'll select the menu icon in the top right of the detail artboard and drag the blue handle to the menu artboard. The overlay can be repositioned by clicking and dragging on the green rectangle. Once again, this can be previewed on device to make sure the interaction feels just right. While in prototype mode, the interaction can be easily copied to other instances of the menu icon to ensure the interaction remains consistent. Now that my design is coming together, I want to begin gathering feedback. Collecting feedback and doing design reviews is simple with the built-in share mode. Use one of the four built-in options to gather feedback, test, and hand off to development teams. To gather feedback, select the design review setting, which provides an option for viewers to leave comments on your design with no Adobe ID required. Anyone with the link can view the design and leave a comment. Conducting user testing can be done using the user testing view settings, presenting a full screen view of the interface for participants to click through. 
Alternatively, by loading the design onto your mobile device, participants can interact with the application directly on the target device, creating a more realistic experience. Sharing your final design with development teams is just as easy. Simply select Development from the View Settings to publish a link with information for the development team. In this view, developers can navigate the design and inspect to get dimensions, spacing, colors, and design tokens. And they can download assets that have been marked for export for the appropriate platform. From wireframing to polished design and prototypes to design specs, Adobe XD can help you accelerate your design workflow from end to end, allowing you to create amazing mobile experiences.